Temperatures are getting colder outside and now we have to figure out how we are going to keep our grains and bulk substrates warm so that they can properly colonize in cold weather. Here I've got some various projects I'm working on inside of this cardboard box and over here I've got a little seed germination mat that also has a thermostat. As you can see it's a hermostat which that's how you know it's going to be great quality. This is all you need to keep your grains and bulk substrates colonizing as normal when the weather starts getting colder. There's no need for a space heater, no need to heat up a full closet, and there's no need for double tubs and standing water and aquarium heaters. I'm going to go over all these objects here and how you can set this up to be the perfect little incubation box for your grains and bulk substrates. This seed germination mat was less than $30 on Amazon and it comes with that thermostat, or should I say hermostat, in order to control its temperature and shut it off once it reaches the correct temperature. So there you can see the heat mat and then the thermostat is right here. It comes with a little temperature probe that's connected to it. Some instructions here. And so how it works is pretty self-explanatory. The heat mat plugs into the thermostat and then you control and set the temperature on which you want it to power on. Keep building temperature until it turns off and maintains that temperature. And here's a little temperature probe and this is all we're going to need. How we are going to set up this heat mat inside of this box is we're going to use it to heat the air around inside of the box and around the grains. Each heat mat is going to be different. You really need to play around with the temperature settings because you don't want to put your grains directly on the heat mat and you don't want to put the box directly on the heat mat because you can end up creating hot spots even through the cardboard and end up kind of cooking your grains and it's just not going to be good. So the best way to do it is to use the heat mat just like this to heat the air inside of the box around the grains. Looking at the thermostat, we can see it displays temperature in Fahrenheit as well as Celsius. And right now the current ambient temperature is 78.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually the perfect temperature for grain and substrate colonization. But that's only for right now, it's going to get colder. So in order to view Celsius, I just need to press down, go back to Fahrenheit, press up, and to see the current temperature that the thermostat is set to shut off at, I just press set once, and it's currently set to shut off at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want to change that to 80 degrees. I want that to be the maximum temperature because it's going to get pretty cold. If I hold down set for three seconds, I can now change my cutoff temperature to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, press set again. Now it's all ready to go. You can you can see the work light is on, power light is on, the work light means that the heating mat is heating up right now. So when that turns off that means it's reached the desired temperature inside. So now I'll take a look inside the box and I'll show you how I've got everything set up. I've got all my grains and substrate here on one side of the box and I've got my heating mat over here with the side that radiates the heat facing towards the grains. I want this to heat the air inside of this box without coming in direct contact with the grains. So since I have the heating mat over here with the heat coming out towards the grains, I've got the temperature probe here on the other side in order to accurately read that temperature on the other side of the box. This heat mat is designed to increase the temperature around 10 to 20 degrees above ambient temperature. So you might find that this heating mat just won't be hot enough for your environment. This is just one idea to avoid space heaters and aquarium heaters. The reason why I don't like to use aquarium heaters and those double tubs with water is because you've just got standing water sitting around that's heated up, which is the perfect breeding ground for contamination and bacteria. So I would try to avoid that method unless it's the only method you can use to heat up your grains and substrate. Here's a look at the little incubation box we just built working. As you can see the work light is on so it's working to get up to that 80 degree temperature and once it reaches that the work light will come off and then once that ambient temperature falls below 80 degrees Fahrenheit it's going to kick back on and heat it up. And the thermostat just kicked off so you can see the work light is off because it reached 80 degrees Fahrenheit and now once it falls below that ambient temperature it'll kick back on as normal.